Hi students, let's look at the second questions. So this time round, they tell you that there's a vacuum cleaner that costs triple nine. An online store is sold it for 1049. And you're asked to express the profit as a percentage of the cost price. That's part A. Part B, they say that at a sale, maybe it's a clear out sale, it is sell at a lower price for 499. So express the loss as a percentage of the selling price. So something to take note is that you must always take note what is the base reference that they ask you to reference it to. Uh, is it the cost price or is it the selling price? You just need to take note of the questions before you work out your working. So for part A, first thing, you need to find out what is the profit first. Why? Because we need to calculate what is the percentage change. So in this case, we need to find out what is the change in price, which is the increase or decrease over the original price, over the cost price for this case. So in this case, they ask us to reference it to the cost price. So I label it as the cost price, then we times 100%. So for part A, let's work it out. So the profit will be taking the selling price, 1049 minus 399. This gave me $50. And now I want to find what is the percentage profit. So I take $50 over the cost price, which is 999 times 100%. And I just need to calculate into my calculator. And this will give me 5.01%. Okay, so you must be asking, how come I can leave it in three significant people? So how did I do it? So let me show you. So first thing, I write out the entire percentage in my calculator. 0.5005005. Then now, I want to write it off to three specific, three significant figure, which is the, always the default writing off value as seen on the cover page of every exam. So three significant figure is one, two, three. So I need to have these three values, these three numbers here. So when I round off, I need to look at the fourth one. So in this case, it will be 5.01%. Next, part B. They asked me to calculate the loss as a percentage of the selling price. So please take note whether is it the cost price or selling price. So first thing, I must calculate what is the change. So in this case, I can take 499 minus 999. Give me negative $500. So negative $500 means that there's a loss. So to calculate, calculate what is the percentage loss, I take the loss, which is 500 over the selling price which is four times hundred percent. So when you calculate it out, you give me hundred point two zero zero four oh oh eight percent. When I round it off to three significant people, one two three. Will be hundred percent. Why? Because the fourth significant figure is a two, so I round down. So this is how I calculate my answers. So if you have questions, please text me. Thank you.